today's question is how to decide period block and group for an element now this type of question you can find in exam and also it is important for competitive exam fine so let's see so what is period period is the principal quantum number which is denoted by small n of the balance shell then what about block block is that orbital that is it may be s d or p now depending on that orbital which is receiving the last electron and what about group now for group there is no uh, direct answer as you have seen for period and block for groups it may depend on the number of electrons that are present in n minus n minus 1 8th subshell that means the penultimate shell and also in the nth shell now how to understand whether it will depend on both or any one of them basically that is also dependent in which block the element is present now to decide that if it is s block then it will be very simple it will be directly the number of balance electron then if it is from d block now you have to add the number of electrons that are present in n minus n minus 1th subshell and also the nth shell that means valence shell so both the valence shell as well as the penultimate shell total number of electrons we need if we want to decide the group and if it is from p block now number of valence electron in the nth shell plus simply add the number take so basically to decide period block and group all you need to know is the atomic number of the element and electronic configuration fine now we will discuss some questions that is basically examples so three elements i will take one will be from s block another d block and the third one will be from p block so that we can see all these three possibilities so here we have element the first element is rubidium and as i have said that atomic number we must know so for rubidium the atomic number here given 37 now once you know the atomic number next you have to write the electronic configuration now for rubidium this is the electronic configuration but here this elaborate electronic configuration if you do not want to write that is also fine but for that what you have to know the noble gas element that you have to consider and their corresponding period number so see helium it is from first period neon it is from second period so you have to know all these noble gases because if it is 37 atomic number for rubidium the previous uh, noble gas that is basically 36 that is krypton right so atomic number 37 and here krypton 36 that means you can also write the configuration like this that will be simpler and then one more extra electron because it is 37 and here for krypton it is 36 so one so this extra electron that will be in 5s now how you will understand that it will 5s that is also easy because krypton is from fourth period period number is given so if it is from fourth period and noble gas they are basically from group 18 that is p block that means the last element that will be in 4p so if it is in 4p then obviously the next electron that will be in 5s so this is the simple way by which you can write the electronic configuration now next we have to decide period block and group now for period you have to know the principal quantum number of valence shell which is 5 so here you will write 5 then block the last electron entering s so block will be s and group now for s block it is very simple it is directly the number of valence electron so it is 5 s and then 1 okay so this is for rubidia next we have tantal atomic number given 73 so the previous noble gas you have to find first now if it is 73 the previous noble gas is xenon which is having atomic number 54 so you will write the electronic configuration in this way xenon 54 that means atomic number 73 here it is 54 so how many electrons extra that you have to uh, find and that you can easily do by subtracting 54 from 73 which will give you 19 now this 19 electron you have to place but how you will do so for that you have to know 
upper principle. Now, according to upper principle, here which electron, sorry, which orbital you will choose for uh, filling the electron that you can do. Now, xenon as it is from fifth period, that means last electron is 5p. So, after 5p, next uh, in which you will move. So, see here after 5p, the next is 6s. Now, after 6s, now comes 4f. And after 4f, it is 5d. That means this 19 electron, how you will place? So 6s, maximum capacity is 2. Then 4f, it will be 14. And then after 4f, you have 5d according to above. So in 5d, how many electrons left? 14 plus 2, already 16. And 19 minus 16, that means it is 3. So now you know the electronic configuration. So this detailed electronic configuration, uh, we are not doing we are not writing that and uh, because i think it is simpler fine now principle that is quantum number for valential that is six so here you will write in case period it will be six then which block it is last electron entering d so that is why it will be d block and when it is d block remember in the previous slide what we have seen you have to add the number of electrons that is present in valential as well as the n minus 1 h shell. So this is n. This is n minus 1 because 6 minus 1 is 5. So just add these two numbers. 2 plus 3 it will be 5. Now the third one. Obviously now you can guess it will be from P block but we have to see how it is from P block. So for germanium here atomic number 32 that means previous atomic number that you will consider for noble gas it is 18 36 not possible because it is greater than 32 it is 18 so you will write it electronic configuration argon 18 now 32 minus 18 that means this number of electrons which is 14 you you have to place now we will take the help of above principle after argon which is from third period that means 3p last electron and after 3p next you have 4s after 4s there is 3d and then 4p so we will write 4s 3d 4p though it is also true that in the previous example i have written first 6s 4s 5d so normally when we write electronic configuration we do not follow this order but here our purpose is not to write the electronic configuration our purpose is to find the period block and group so you don't have to worry about it so after argon which is where 3p is the last electron then 4s 3d and 4p and we have to place this 14 electron for 4s maximum 2 electron you can place then 10 electron in 3d maximum capacity so 2 electrons left so this is the electronic configuration for uh, germania now period so this is the valential so it will be 4 then last electron entering p so it is p and for p block remember the rule you have to add the add 10 with the uh, electrons that are present in valence so in valence you have 2 plus 2 but you have to add 10 so ultimately it will be 14 that is the group number now if we consider the periodic table you can check all these elements here the first element that we have taken it is rubidium c this is this is uh, group one is block and period number one two three four five next element we have taken this one group number five now this is one two three four five six six is the period number and it is from d block that you can clearly understand third element that we have taken germanium 14 is the group number period number four see this is period number so this is the position of germany and this is from p block which is clear from this periodic table but you may think why we have not discussed about the a block because see for a block uh, this above principle that we have applied this is not exactly followed and here you will see that group is always three because all the a block elements they are placed in this way right so the rules that we have applied for s p and d block that is exactly by following that you cannot 
get the a block so that is why a block we have not discussed but for s p and d block you can easily uh, find the period now period group and block uh, by following these rules so i hope this video will be useful for you